Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a brand new HP laptop. This is an HP 15-DY series. And if you guys want to know the exact model, it's a DY1002 model. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to open it up, how to upgrade your RAM for this model. And this model comes with initially 8 GB of the RAM, so we're going to open it up and see if there is any space to an upgrade the RAM on this model. The tools that you're going to be needing is a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit tool set, as they are one of the best screwdrivers out there. And uh, we're going to be using a Phillips number one. And you're going to need a, a screw uh, opening tool. For the opening tool, we're going to be using a guitar pick. Or you can find a guitar pick, uh, some sort of opening tool that they come in a pro version of the iFixit tool set. I'll leave the link in the description if you guys want to buy the pro set. If you don't want to buy the pro set, buy the basic one and get yourself a metallic guitar pick. All right, that's it. Now, what you need to do first, you need to power up the laptop completely. You want to flip it upside down. And down here, you're going to see two chrome screws, one on each side. These are like a kind of dull color is chrome. They're not shiny. And these are two rubber legs at the back, one in the front. Under these rubber legs, there are hidden screws. In order to remove these ones, you need to grab your guitar pick, stick it in one corner sharply underneath this one and lift it up. There should be an adhesive attached to this one that makes it stick to it. So lift it up, or sometimes the adhesive stays on the plastic, so it doesn't matter, you just have to peel it up. Don't yank it this way, don't go like this, otherwise you're gonna break, crack the Robert, just lift it up like this and bring it up in 45 degree angle, just like this. Once you remove it, place it right beside it. Make sure the laptop is clean. And there's one screw, one screw right there, and another chrome right in the middle. Same thing for the front legs. Rubber, lift it up and yank it from this slowly, gently bring it up this way and place it beside it. On the bottom side, there's only chrome screws. So go ahead and remove the, all of them. Remember, the only thing you have to remember, the black screws goes right by the hinges. So that's the only thing you need to remember. The rest are the chrome screws. Go ahead and remove all the screws. Keep them in two separate piles. Also, I realize only 1% of the viewers are subscribed to my channel. If you guys want to support the channel and if my videos are helping you guys out, Feel free clicking that like button and subscribing to my channel. I would really appreciate it and it will be a great support. All right, once we remove the screws, so there's a black ones and the chrome ones. Now what you need to do is to open up the laptop a little bit and all you need to do is to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom right there, right on the cover, between the palm rest and the bottom cover. And all you want to do is just move it around, just twist it, twist it outward, do all in front side, then put it down this way. So do that, do the side corners, all the way to the back corner, left and right side. Make sure you hit those clicks, so pretty much twist, twist, just like that. Once you got most of them out, now you can go ahead and close up the lid. And you can see actually it is opening up. Put it down. You want to grab it right from the, where the USB-C port side is. Bring it up in the corner. Put your hand on the hinges right here and lift it up. And there's some hooks there. You just have to lift it up a little hard so it will let go. Do this side too. And wiggle it around and it will release the tiny hooks. And there we have on the bottom. So down here, you're gonna see the RAM dims are available right here. This laptop has both of the RAM dims available. So that means you can add another RAM right over here. To remove the RAM are really simple. To remove the RAM, all you need to do is to pull these two triggers apart, away from each other. And the RAM should come out with little help in 45 degree angle. 
just like that. And you want to just grab it in the same 45 degree angle and pull it out. You do not want to lift it up towards the ceiling, otherwise you're going to crack the ramp or the dim. So grab it and slide it out in the same position. To place the ramp in, make sure the ramp notch right here, the crack in the ramp dim, matches, the crack on the ramp dim matches the crack on the ramp right on there. Doesn't matter which side of the sticker or RAM memories are located. If you try to put it the other way around in, it will not go through. So all you need to do is to bring it down in 45 degree all the way towards the jack and simply push it from the middle towards the motherboard. And you should hear those two clicks. Same thing, if you got the new RAM, grab the new RAM, place it in this side, 45 degree angle, push it all the way towards the dim and push it towards the motherboard. If the RAM dim doesn't go all the way in, it's really noticeable. Let's say if I don't put it all the way in, I put it halfway through, just like that, and I try to close it, it will simply look at the clips, they stay open. So that means the RAM is not in place. So all you need to do, bring it up, push it all the way in, and towards the motherboard, and the triggers here, they should stay straight. Now you're gonna place the new RAM dim right over here, and then you're gonna boot up the computer. You don't need to put the cover on to turn it on. And once you put the new RAM in and you turn it on, and if it turns on but there's no screen, don't panic. Just shut it down, grab the new RAM dim, place it in this side, and place the old one on the left side. Just swipe the places, and then do a second boot. And once you turn it on, it might take up to five to 10 seconds for the motherboard, for the BIOS to do a RAM check. It's called a memory check. So after five to 10 seconds, it's gonna detect, it's gonna balance its speed and it should be fine to go. All right, once that one is done, simply just grab the top cover. You do not need to remove the battery to do this service. There's absolutely not necessary to remove the battery to do this service. In case you wanna do it, there's only one, two, three, four, five screws that hold the battery. Remove these screws right here and the battery will just come out as easily but you do not need to. So once that one is done, grab the bottom cover where you have your two USB ports right here. You wanna bring it, scoop it right in. So I scoop those right there, make sure it goes in. So you don't wanna push it straight up. You wanna bring it from the side inward. So it should be something like that. So it should go right in place. Once it's in there, hold it real hard there, keep it, and then squeeze a little bit. Make sure you hit those click. Now come to this side and press down on this side. You have to press real hard sometimes. Make sure you work on a flat super, uh, super table. And now once we open it up, you're gonna see these gaps right here open. So all you need to do is to just pinch them, go all around and pinch it. Okay. Once you pinch it, open up completely. Make sure you pinch the back side. And right here too, if there's anything open, so you go back to its place. Once you finish with those, go back on the bottom side, and now it should be, the last part is, to put the two black screws, one on each corner by the hinges, and the chrome screws go all over the place, whenever you find the space. And this is how you upgrade your RAM for your HP 15DY laptop series. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out to do your own upgrade. If it did, please click the like button. I really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe. If you have any questions or requests, leave them in the comment area and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. And the last part would be to grab the rubber right here and bring it from one side. Just stick it right there. Run it all the way through. And Put it in place. Same thing here. Bring it over.